Ganesha wins the race. Kartike completed the challenge of circling around the world three times and returned to Mount Kailash. He was sure that he had beaten Ganesha in the race. But much to his amazement, he saw that Ganesha was already there and Mother Parvati was hugging him. He ran towards his parents and asked Ganesha, How did you circle the world three times and came back so quickly? Your mount is so small and weak as compared to my peacock. Ganesha smiled calmly. He explained everything to Karthike. He narrated how he recalled an incident that had happened in his childhood. He added that he had then discovered their mother was present everywhere and she was the symbol of the entire universe. So instead of circling the entire universe, I took rounds around the place where mother and father were sitting. For me, they are my world. Ganesha concluded. Shiva and Parvati were happy with Ganesha's wise thoughts and declared him the winner of the race. Karthike leaves for Mount Kronch. Ganesha had won the competition by using his wisdom and intelligence. Parvati said, Ganesha will marry first as per the rules of the competition. Karthike was upset with this decision. He expressed his displeasure before his parents and Ganesha. I was the one who actually circled around the universe on my peacock and put in a lot of effort. But Ganesha did not even move from Mount Kailash. This is not fair. I do not accept it, he said scornfully. But Shiva and Parvati were firm on their decision. Stop arguing, Karthike. We know that you were the one who physically went across the entire universe. But Ganesha is the deserving one, as he took a wise step to deal with the situation. You used your speed, while he used his brains. Karthike was unhappy with his parents' decision. He felt that his parents were partial towards Ganesha. So he decided to leave Mount Kailash and headed towards Mount Crouch. Ganesha marries against his will. There are many legends related to Ganesha's marriage. According to one legend, Ganesha had told his parents that in spite of winning the race and the decision that he could marry first, he did not want to get married. He was happy eating sweet rice cakes and playing with his mouse. On the other hand, there was a girl named Tulsi who lived in Gokul. She had always worshipped Ganesha and wanted to marry him. But Ganesha showed his disinterest in the proposal. One day, Ganesha was in deep meditation. At that time, Tulsi approached him and tried to disturb him. Ganesha was not happy to lose his concentration. He was extremely angry with Tulsi. So he cursed her and said, Go away. You shall marry a demon, not me. Tulsi felt insulted. So she too cursed Ganesha. You do not want to marry me? That is fine. But soon you shall get married against your wishes and you shall not be able to meditate. Soon Ganesha got married to a girl named Pushti. Fulfillment Ganesha marries Riddhi and Siddhi. Another legend has it that Ganesha was unable to find a suitable match because of his elephant's head. He felt irritated and thought of hindering other gods' marriages. So he instructed his mouse friends to travel across seven and dig up deep holes on the paths through which the marriage procession of any god would pass. These holes created havoc across heaven. The gods were worried and their families faced difficulties. All the gods then decided to visit Lord Brahma and ask for a solution. Brahma created two beautiful girls. One was Riddhi, wealth, and the other was Siddhi. Intelligence. Brahma got Ganesha married to both of them. Ganesha calmed down. 
and then he never created any hurdle in any marriage procession. Ganesha had two sons, Shubh, auspicious, and Lam, prophet, and a daughter named Santoshi, satisfaction or contentment. Another legend states that Riddhi and Siddhi were the twin daughters of King Prajapati, and Ganesha married them after winning a race. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.